Hello. Huskies back again with more oops. New York Rangers franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. Last video we made a. I have to move the fan. I can't see the freaking TV. There we go. Uh, we made a pretty big uh, decision. Risk. Um, Jonathan Duran. 11 million dollar contract, one year. Uh, so far, one game he's got one assist. Not clearly not going to pan out. So I don't know why I did it. Uh, Taylor Hall four points in game one. Now we won game one seven nothing. Um, pretty much just going along the season, see how we do. Um, our defense is stacked, like I mean stacked. Dolan, Pogi, Shea, D'Angelo, Malstrom. I mean Braunstrom could be a little better, but I mean shit, dude, this this decor is insane. And then goaltending wise, I forgot to play Curry. He's still a 78, so our goaltending is definitely not the best. But I'm just gonna kind of go with it, and we're gonna see where they can take us. Pretty much what I'm hoping, but on resign phase, remember to sign Pogi first. Ooh, I should sign. Actually, should I sign it? Should I just go sign Pogi now? Uh, new contracts. Does he want an extension? I would assume so. I mean, we're a good. Well, we're a half decent team. No, he doesn't want an extension. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. How much is he gonna want? That, that's actually... Mm, you know what? I have a little, whole lot of money. Oh, let's just see if he signs. <laughs> I gotta sign the Benajad. He wants more. Stop asking for more, man. D'Angelo wants an extra million. Connor McDavid wants $11.3 million. Man, I'm kind of tempted to not re-sign McDavid, if I'm honest. I know that he's the face of our franchise, but his point totals just haven't been... I guess I should wait and see how he plays with Hall and Duran before I completely just ignore him. Either way, our roster is going to look very different come next season, because we're going to have... I have 48 million in cap space, and 17 of it is locked up in McDavid and Pokey right now, and I have Duran, which would be another one. So it will... We'll have to wait and see. Um, what I am going to do, though, is go sign a fourth line center. Because I can't run with the whatever center I have now. He's not that great. Uh, let me turn down the music. There we go. Alright, so I need a center. Ryan Dezingle, 1.1 million. Well, actually, let's look at centers. Dezingle, Riley Smith, Drew Miller. I mean, we fall off pretty hard after that. Does Dezingle have any poise? No. Zach Smith doesn't. David Miller has 85. No, that's 65, isn't it? Yeah, it's 65. I really gotta sit close to the TV. Colton Sissons has 85. 75 faceoffs. I know that faceoffs don't mean much to the people that watch this. That's that's been very apparently. It's very well known that. Um. I'm gonna sign Colton Sissons just because he's a. He's a, I mean, he's a 77, but there's not much better out there. And I want a guy with poise if we're going to sign somebody. Oh, Pogi signed. Alright, cool. I could have swore he didn't want an extension. We're going to advance today until this dude signs. Alright, so there's a 7 to nothing win and a 7 to 2 win. Connor McDavid has 7 points in 2 games. Alright. Alright, Colton Sisson signed. 3-2 to win, McDavid 8 points in 3 games. Alright, so maybe maybe we're doing a little... Maybe McDavid's going to work for that $11 million contract. Maybe we found the missing piece. And that missing piece just cost us $11 million. But, is that... No, no, that's not. Okay, that's Bernard Marchand. I was like, do we have Brad Marchand? No, he's not a center. Uh, he's not here, right? No, I have to call him up. Colton Sissons, boosh. Call him up. Alright. I'm gonna go to edit lines, make sure I can slot him in there real quick. So we've scored 17 goals in the first three games. I mean, our offense is disgusting. Like, that's... That's obvious. Alright, so Colton Sissons, two-way forward, playmaker, two-way forward, that's fine. Again, he's more there because of his poise. Man, if we finally see a 100-point season out of one of our star players, that would be ecstatic. I have no interest in 
making trades or doing anything like that. This team is pretty much set to where it needs to be. Pretty much all we're waiting on is for Curry to become the elite goalie that we're hoping he ends up being. Uh, he's a 78 currently. And he's playing a backup role. Um, what I need to go check before we get too deep into this, we're 6-0. We're, uh, we're going to channel our inner capitals here. We're going to win the President's Trophy and then absolutely blow, aren't we, in the playoffs? Granted, again, goaltending is going to be... I'm going to be tempted to... Depending on how Curry... Uh... Where is... Otter? Okay, it is on. want to make sure Curry's getting games because his, his, the key to his success is going to be getting a good amount of games because we're probably running a 1-2 system goaltender-wise. Hopefully you don't hear the fan. I just bought a brand new oscillating fan and it is heaven. But it is a little noisy. Oh, we finally, we, we make one change. Oh shit, that's right, the World, World Cup's on. Should probably turn that on. All right, edit scouting assignment. Oh my God, would you guys hurry up with the road? Sorry, they're tearing up my street outside. And they're really, really noisy. It's also 8 o'clock in the morning where I live, and they're we're out here at 7.30 in the morning. Granted, I don't do anything. I, I work nights, so I'm awake anyway. But, geez, they're so noisy. You better slow down that truck, bud. Sorry, I know that, I know. Oh, you might want to speed it up, bud. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has ever seen a road get torn up. But they have a semi truck in front with an empty trailer, having the old asphalt that's getting pulled up, chucked into it, and you have to, you have to kind of vary the speeds to make sure that the flow of asphalt is making it in the truck. Well, they just about were going too fast and drove away from it, and then they slowed down to a stop and almost got run into it by it. So. Again, obviously nobody cares that I'm talking about this, but we're at the point where the regular season doesn't matter with this team. So I'm just trying to fill the time. Um, what about that fucking Mike Hoffman situation, man? Traded twice in like two hours. First he goes to Florida, then he gets traded, or he goes to San Jose, and then he gets traded to Florida. After the dude that made the trade in Ottawa was told to not trade him in the division. <laughs> and immediately ends up in the division. All right, so let's look and see how we're doing here. We're 19-5-2, and two, but of course we're not first in the division. Somehow the Islanders are better than us. I don't understand this. Twenty, We have 40 points. They're 20, 20 wins, 2 losses, and 3 overtime. Like, God damn. We have 95 goals for 3.65 per game. Almost 4 goals a game. We don't. Even, we give up less than 2 a game. Power play is 18%. Power play could be better. Penalty kill could be much better. 90% penalty kill. Wow, the Islanders, man. I gotta go look at the Islanders roster, because I'm assuming it's going to be Barzil, Barzell, Del Cole, Tavares, you know, all of them. So here we go. McDavid, 36 points in 26 games. Nice. Taylor Hall, 15 goals, 25 points. Jonathan Drew only has 24 points with 8 goals, but at the same time, he might have to stick around because he's clearly facilitating these two. Like, they're, they're going now. At least McDavid's going. But, I mean, look at the plus minus. 21, 20, 17. D'Angelo and Poey, 21, 29. McLeod's got 11 goals on the second line. I mean, somehow Baranjum's a minus 4. Shea's a plus 18. Dolan's a plus 29. Timishav has 7 goals on that fourth line. Zabinijad rocking out with 12 points. Zabinijad might have to go, if I'm completely honest. I can find a second line center for cheaper than $8 million. Zabinijad might not be asked back. Same for JT Miller. He's got four points in 26 games. Granted, he's got he's a plus five, so he's clearly doing all right there. But $5 million for a third-line center that's putting up four points. He's been a good point guy for us the past pretty much his entire time here. He's, he's starting to fall off a little bit. Like, he's not giving us 15, 60 points anymore. Granted, our top six is significantly better now, so he doesn't need to. But... I'm going to have to think long and hard about some of these players coming the post from the offseason. Goaltenders Darcy, 13-3-2 with a 9.32 goals against, save percentage and a 175 goals against. Curry, a 929 with a 188 goals against average. I kind of want to swap to Curry as the starter 
simply considering how good of a team we're running right now, I don't see the downside to putting him in there. But what I want to look at is I want to look at the Islanders. <laughs> I got to see the Islanders. What What is their team made of, man? This is ridiculous. Uh, Alright, so we got Michael Del Cole, Jonathan Tavares, Josh Hosang. Alright, so they, they both worked out pretty good for him. Brock Nelson, Matthew Barzell, Mark Stone, my boy. Simone Mercier. Mer Mercier? Mer Mercier. I don't know. Mercier? I don't know. Tomas Hurdle. Yeah, how you liking? No, he's probably loving it now. He's got 19 points on the third line. Honors lead Matthew Pumple, Mikhail Backlund, Joel Armey. So they don't look overly impressive, but Tavares 26. I mean, again, nobody's jumping off the point sheet, but they're not giving up goals. How are they not giving up goals with this decor? What? Ryan Ellis, Travis Hamanick, Pulak, Nemeth, Jolanta, Jolanta, Schroeder. Like, this makes no sense. Cola slot was Soderstrom. All right, so they've got a decent goaltender, but I just, I don't, that defense is so bad. There's no way they keep this success going. They can't. I just, I fail to accept that. What was I going to do? Alright, I was going to make Curry my starter. Because just look at our team in comparison to them. Like, it's disgusting the difference in them. And they're actually doing better than us. The only thing they have going for them that we don't is their goalie is developed. But we're getting close. We're getting close. Let's hop back in. We're already at 11 and a half minutes. What the hell have I been talking about for 11 minutes? I talked about my road, which I'm sure was the thrilling commentary. All right, so I really want I want Curry to take over this team. Like, obviously, Kemper was doing very well. But, again, with how good our team is, I don't feel like it's a bad thing to get Curry in there. His stats were pretty good. I think he was 6-2 with a 9.20 save percentage. His save percentage might have been like a 9.10 or a 9.15, but either way. He's got the team in front of him to carry him, especially offensively. I mean, we nearly average four goals a game, which means come playoff time, we're going to average less than a goal and a half per game easily. I don't know what it is about the postseason, but it's just impossible for the sim engine to score goals. Ever since making the change, we've kind of... We, our offense has fizzled a little bit. Grant, we're giving up a few more goals. I mean, we're bound to... Our defense was about to average out. There's no way we're going to end the season with less than two goals per game. I refuse to believe that'll happen to any team in this game. Oh, and uh, the NHL 19 trailer. The little... The Chell 19 thing that was 12 seconds long. That was an absolute joke. Not only did EA straight up take the picture like the dude skating on the pond from pure hockey's twitter that footage is actually royalty free stock footage you can find on youtube so that teaser trailer literally cost them nothing because it was royalty free it's just a shame matthew hansel and a fourth for third and a seventh Hansel any good? He's probably like 50. He's 36. Get out of here. I don't want that deal. We're 30, 14, and 31, 14, and 3. I mean, we're, we could be better. We started off real good. We've kind of come back down. To, ooh. Dog jumped on the couch and back legs didn't follow her. Alright, let's see here. Just keep scouting away. Nick Shore in a fourth for a second. I see. I don't need players. Like a fourth line center would be nice. Nick Shore is not a half bad fourth line center. But he's got a two year deal. I don't want him. Two years is too much for me. Because I my cap situation is going to be so bad this coming off season. It's going to be ridiculous. And I want to offer extensions to people. Should we get another Dolan? Jonathan Dolan. Center sniper? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, our cap situation coming this offseason. We're going to need to win a cup this year because I'm going to have to... I don't think I'll have to blow it up necessarily, but I'm definitely going to have to let some big names go. Adam Lowry in a fifth for some rookie in a second. Is Adam Lowry any good? Can I even afford to put him on the team? Adam Lowry, 81 overall. One-year deal. 
84 poise. Oh, man, he'd be a perfect... I'm doing that deal. I know it's for a second. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Mm -mm. Who is this kid? Who's Susan? Low top 9, 59 overall. All right, yeah, you can go. All right. And now I did that. Because, again, he's got a one-year deal. So I don't have to bring him back if I don't want to. Yeah, and he's a considerably better fourth line sender than Colton Sissons is. Uh, three and a half star defense. Very good defensive player. He's got his offense. Oh, no, I'm looking at Colton Sissons. Here we go. Adam Lowry, four star defense. Half decent offensive stats. He's got 84 poise. So he brings in exactly what we need. And he's got point totals. So, I mean, he's a nice fit on that fourth line. Again, it's a one-year deal. Second round pick and a... a Disappointing rookie. The Islanders are still first. You gotta be kidding me. We're all the way in February, and they're still rocking out in first place. How? I mean, we've kind of we've we've evened out. We're 35, 17, and four. We're normal record, but they're 37, nine, and eight. That team is not that good. Offensively, we're considerably better. Defensively, we're about the same. So I mean, I don't know. They're just winning close games, so they're not getting blown out. I don't know what's going on here. 87% penalty kill. Amazing on the road. We're kind of meh on the road. I mean, we're above 500, but nothing huge. McDavid, 58 points in 56 games, so he's kind of come back down to earth. Taylor Hall, 43 points. McLeod, 42. McLeod might be playing his way into that first line, if I'm honest. Juren, 18 goals. Connor, 17. Arkhipov, 12. Zabinijas up to 36 points, but I mean... That's not $8 million worth of points right there. JT Miller, 12 points. And the only guy who's a minus is just that third line's a minus. Maybe I have to mess with that third line. Maybe I put Maelstrom on the second pairing. And I bump uh, D'Angelo down to the third pairing. Actually, you know, what I would do is I would move uh, Ronstrom to the second pairing. And move D'Angelo down to the third pairing. Right, offense, two way, defense, offense, yeah. Let's just swap because the two skill levels, Shea should uh, be able to pick up the slack that Ronstrom will leave him with. And he's also playing with better forwards, so that should end up better. Oh, I forgot to look at Curry stats. Well, we've come too far. <laughs> it's it's going to take way too long to get back to that screen. We're just going to roll with the punches. Nick, I just traded for a center, guys. I don't need a center. I'm good on centers. Thank you. All right. Davidson. And, no, my defense is good. So does Eric, is Eric Carlson still going to get traded? Or do we think that he might get traded? Despite Hoffman getting moved. Because, I mean, it was a well-known fact that the Hoffman girlfriend thing, like she was an ex- but does Hoffman getting moved? Well, in order for someone to take Hoffman, didn't they have to eat somebody's contract? Didn't they have to eat... Um... Oh, whose contract did they get back? Bodker? I think they ate Bodker's contract in Ottawa, and Ottawa is all about penny pinching. Troy Stetcher. Troy Stetcher's a not a bad defenseman, but I don't have any room for him. Personally, I think Carlson's still gone. I think Ottawa is not going to be willing to re-sign him when it comes time. They're too cheap, and they already had to eat Bodker's contract. I don't know how long Bodker's contract is for. And I could be wrong. It could be somebody else that they had to eat. But I'm pretty sure they had to bring Mikhail Bodker back from San Jose just to get rid of Hoffman. Ooh, four straight losses. That's not good. We're going to channel our inner Los Angeles Kings here and... Lose the last, like, 14 games. Okay, we've lost eight straight. Come on, guys. Why is this a thing? Alright, there's nine. Ten. Hey, we won a game. Hey, we won two games. Oh, there's 11 of our last 13. Hey, we lose the last five nothing to end the year. So we lost 12 of our last 15 games. What the fuck? That's the second time in like as many videos that my teams have fallen apart at the end of the year. 
All right, we drew the Tampa Bay Lightning. Great. Great, great, great. All right, so let's see how we finished. We're already at 20 minutes, but I, I missed a couple videos this week due to school and work, so. All right, so where did we finish? Where did we finish? I'm assuming we finished third. Wow, we're a wild card team. Are you kidding me? New York Islanders, 48, 24, and 10. That team makes no sense. I need to stop building my teams the way I've been building them. Because clearly it doesn't work. 240, our goals our goals four dramatically dropped. Granted, we sucked the last... Oh, what's our last 10? Yeah, 3 and 7. That's about right. Penalty kill, averaged out, 81%. That's pretty good. Power, power play, 19%. Not the worst. Second, Third in the division. Damn, man. Team was looking so promising. I think I hit the B button. No, I didn't. All right, so Connor McDavid, finally, for the first time since he's been here, I think is a point-per-game player. Nope, he almost got there two years ago. Yep, the first time since he's been here, he's been a point per game. Alright, that's encouraging. Taylor Hall had 30 goals. I mean, I would like to see the... Oh, he's actually never hit 40. Came close a couple years ago. Anyway, that first line, plus 15, plus 17, plus 12. Hoagie, plus 25. Braunstrom, a minus 15. I think Braunstrom's gotta go. I just don't think he fits. I, I switched lines. Granted, I know it was just an offensive switch. This third line, really struggling. Husalius, Miller, and... Who's the other guy on that line? Arkhipov? Yeah. Arkhipov had a decent season, but... Husalius and... Torsten just not putting the puck in the net. And JT Miller, I think, is, I think his time is done. I think the... Uh, the wonder man that is JT Miller is finally coming to an end in New York. So what did Juran do for us? Juran was 61 points. That's not a lot for $11 million, man. I kind of want to try him on the second line and put McLeod on the first line. It was nice to see the Jag get back up there. How did Curry finish? Is Curry going to be our goaltender going into the postseason? He didn't even... He, even if I make him my starter, it still pushes him to the backup role. I think I'm gonna leave him as the backup. We're gonna go with Darcy. Darcy finished with a 918 save percentage and a 233 goals against. So Darcy's gonna be our guy. Uh, but I'm gonna ch uh, see. I don't want to change that first line too much because McDavid and Hall finally got. I mean, McDavid and Hall pretty much go regardless. I think I am gonna try McLeod on the first line and move Duran down to play with Connor and Husalius. Actually, I'm going to try Arkhipov on the second line, because he, he showed that he had talent. He's got 92 offensive awareness. So if he plays with Zabinijad and Duran, that might be a nice little fit for us. And Connor's a good two-way player. This fourth, this third line just... I don't know. I like Husalius. He's a good fit. But he's not going to be the goal scorer. He needs to have guys that can, fit, that can put the puck in the net. He can facilitate, maybe. But I don't think I can rely on it. He's got five-star defense. He's more of a two-way forward than he is a power forward. So I would need a score on that line. I could probably replace Miller with like a playmaking center. But time will tell. And uh, Braunstrom, I think he's got to go, man. I don't want to put Bouchard in, though. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. I got nobody I want to call up either. Yeah, Core 11 Ray. No, I'll pass on them. All right, so these are our lines that we're going to try the playoffs with. Uh, McDavid and Hall worked regardless who's playing with them. And I think that Druin can take advantage of second lines a lot easier than he can the first lines. And Connor is a nice two-way player, but I just don't think he's a good second liner. But either way, that's where we're going to end it. As always, comment section for your opinions, comments, and predictions. And I will see you tomorrow for what is the first round of our playoff run. And if you're interested in the LA Kings, that video will go up later today where I will do my best to save grace with that team. <laughs>